Dr. Granger, this data is worthless. It looks like something I could get from a Federation library. I don't think it even applies to the planet. Now, now my lovely, this data is as good as any of yours. I am not one of your lovelies. I need to talk to the captain about this. Captain, spacecraft is decloaking. It is Granger's. Hail them. Tell them to stand down. Captain, they beamed Granger out of the science lab. They are warping out. Pursued course. No we have no legitimate reason to hold them. Forward their contact information to Starfleet. Captain, disturbance on the planet. One dead. He died with electrical shocks that are the same as the woman's. We saw it. A black entity with lightning bolts coming out of it. Our phasers had no effect. Science officer, can you find some kind of defense, maybe insulation? Possibly. I could use the doctor's help. We also have another problem, the electrical potential between the planet and moon. I want solutions. Captain I am reading a massive solar flare, a coronal mass ejection. I am plotting the ejection. A plasma plume is headed near the planet. I don't believe it is a threat. Keep an eye on it. What is the situation with the moon and planet? The potential between the planet and the moon is rapidly increasing. At this pace, it won't be a week before there is a massive discharge between then. How bad will it be? Can we protect the colonists? No captain. It will be so severe that it could kill the entire population. Are the transporters working yet? It would be crowded but maybe we could transport them on board. Not very well captain. We can only transport a few at a time. There isn't enough time. Contact Starfleet. See if they have some ships that they can spare.
Tell me what your idea is. It is the plasma cloud. It can be used to help us. What do you mean? How can that help us? We can use magnetic satellites to focus the cloud toward the moon. What will that do? I don't understand. The moon has built up a negative charge, and the plasma is positively charged. The two can cancel each other out. I will configure probes to put out enough magnetic field strength to focus the plasma, similar to how electrons were focused in the old cathode ray tubes. Doctor, what is the medical situation? We have had a number of electrocutions, mostly of the second type. I am treating the survivors. What will happen to the electrical charge on the planet if this succeeds? It will disperse. According to the data we got from our people, this happens about every 5,000 years in this system. Here comes the plasma cloud, headed toward the moon. Battle stations. Shields to maximum. What is happening? Is it working? It is. The plasma is drawing the electrical charge out. The plasma is becoming gas as the electrons bind with the atoms. Keep an eye on it. We will intervene rather than allow a discharge between the moon and planet. The charge is diminished and the magnetic field will soon weaken. Secure from general quarters. I am going to go talk to the governor. Thank you, Captain. We are putting everything back together. Hey, the Nebula girls are here. Why not have your people take some shore leave? They will enjoy it. I might take you up on that, Governor.
Can't I talk you into staying Harry? We work together well as a team. Sorry my darling. I lost my contract with the miners when they heard about the electrical storm. Harry you have lightened up our lives. Is there anything we can do to help? I appreciate that darling but I really need to be going. There are plenty more sheep to fleece you know. I want to go with you Harry. Can I? Of course my darling. I will take you to the spaceport. Good luck Harry. We will miss you. Hey if you ever want to sell some fake patents, I will be there. Just call. I just wanted you to know that you have been put up for a commendation. The governor has been arrested by Starfleet security. What did she do? I don't understand. When you started tracing Granger, her involvement in a scheme was exposed. It seems the real Granger died a year ago of Rigeline fever. This one's real name is Harcourt Fenton Mudd. You mean he wasn't a real geologist? No he's a con artist. He is as slippery as ice, and he may have stolen cloaking technology from the Romulans. Bad move. So what did the governor do? She helped him fudge some data in order to get the mining company to come to the planet. Their stock would go up, and she would seriously profit, until they found that it was useless for mining. Who said that the planet was no good for mining? That was the real Fred Granger, ironically. The report cited magnetic, electrical, and geologic instability as proof that the planet was unfit for mining. Well I have to admit he had a certain amount of charm. He never should have called me one of his lovelies though. I am a Starfleet officer, and that did not sit well with me. I am sure glad for that. Starfleet needs more like you. <laughs>